Hey y'all, y'all don't know me, but my name is Lay. I'm new to you too. Obviously, y'all most definitely will be seeing my face a lot. And today I'm doing a Q&A video, so you guys can get to know me a little bit. But after I do these Q&As, I'm only doing two, I'm going to most definitely be uploading for you guys. And we need to get a name for y'all once I get in the field, you know? This is my first time recording a video for you too. No, I'm lying, y'all. I'm lying. I record videos all the time. <laughs> I record videos all the time. It's just I don't post them on YouTube because I'm just now getting to the feel of it. But I most definitely post on TikTok. My name for TikTok and Instagram will be in the description down below. I hope y'all like this video. So let's get into this Q&A. Today, I'm going to be answering these questions that I asked Instagram. I told them to give me some questions so I could give, you know, a little bit of answers for you guys. A little something so y'all get to know me. But let's jump right into it. I don't want it to be too long. But the question that I asked was, I told them that I was going to do a Q&A for YouTube, my first video. So this is the question they asked me. The first one was, your relationship with God so far, what do you see yourself doing besides hair? My relationship with God is not where I want to be, but I'm most definitely getting there with the praying. I've been praying a lot more, and I'm just giving everything to God, y'all. And I'm telling you, that stuff really, really soothes your brain. Like, y'all. <laughs> y'all should really tap into y'all spiritual selves, for real. Like, that stuff be working, y'all. And besides hair, oh yeah, you guys will see me uploading about vlogs and stuff, me doing hair. I'm a hairstylist. But besides hair, I see myself going back to school and get my degree. I want to work in a hospital. I don't know if I want to be a CNA yet, a CNA yet, or I want to be a gynecologist like I was originally supposed to be before hair. But that's what I plan on doing. But I plan on doing both of those things. I want to open salons. I want to have my salons nationwide, guys. So, you know, that's my plan. And somebody said, do you think your younger self would be proud of the person you are today? Yes, because the woman I've grown into, I really love. So I feel like my younger self would look back at me like, dang, girl, you're really doing good. Because, like, it's a lot of stories behind my lifestyle so i most definitely think younger me would be very proud but yeah somebody said how did you know that you were falling for your girlfriend y'all i know i was falling for my girlfriend because she found me when i was okay with being alone yes y'all i got into that state of mind like i don't need anyone i want to be alone i could sit in the room and listen to music i sit home and drink wine yo that's when my girlfriend found me and once we started talking this stuff you know we got a little deeper it was like don't get funny y'all <laughs> it was like Um, I don't know. Look, <laughs> anyways, y'all. I know I was falling for my girlfriend because she made me feel different, though. It's just like I don't know. She made me like tender. Like my girlfriend made me just. I don't know. She. I don't know, y'all. It's multiple ways that I found. Out, like you know that I knew I was falling for my girlfriend. Like when she just would run across my mind all day and y'all mind you when we first started talking i have never met her in person none of that anything so we was over the phone for a long time and i was catching feelings real heavy over the phone and that's how i knew something i was like because i don't i'm a i have to be in person with you type person like i have to be around you and i don't do long distance and we were long distance so i was like i'm willing to make long distance work for her <gasps> <laughs> so that's what I knew. You know, like around a month or something all that. <laughs> okay, somebody said any advice on attending cosmetology school? Yo Cosmetology school is not for the week. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and tell anybody it's for the week because it's not. When you go to cosmetology school, do not go there looking for friends and do not go there trying to make friends. 
that's rule number one you're going to graduate with yourself you started with yourself you're going to graduate with yourself you're most definitely going to make friends along the way and if you do great but do not go there looking for them and go there with a i'm ready to work mindset because if you don't you're not going to get anything done you're not going to want to do anything because cosmetology school is very, very different from what they tell you it is. I'm just going to say that. So basically, just go there with a mindset like, yeah, we're going to get through this day. We're going to do, you know, what they have for us to do, you know. Just go there with a strong mindset. Like, you know, go to like, yeah, I'm ready to work. Because if you don't, it's not going to work. All right. Let me skim, skim, skim. How do you manage to push yourself? I don't know, y'all. Honestly, sometimes I'm not going to sit here and lie like it's easy because life isn't easy, period. But sometimes I push myself like I have to sit there and stop myself sometimes. I really have to sit there and stop myself and be like, okay, pause. Like you just need to pause. Take a breath. Take a breather. Like I really say those things to myself. And I be having to remember where i come from and how i came up and you're only 20 years old i have to have that mentality like you're 20 years old you're not gonna have everything everybody else have you wasn't raised like everybody else was nobody gave you what you're working for so i give myself pep talks almost you know every day and that really gets me going like i'll wake up say you have no money at all you wake up and be like i'm broke but i'm happy it's gonna help y'all it sounds like it's not gonna help but it's really going to help. Like, having a good, strong mindset pushes yourself. Yeah. That's that. Um, okay. Somebody said, I'm looking down, y'all, at my iPad. Somebody said, what made you start doing hair? My mother, actually. My mom used to do my hair and my siblings' hair. Y'all have, um... A couple sisters. <laughs> yeah, I most definitely will see them. But my mom used to do my braids for school. Like, she would always do my braids for school. I have never prayed anybody when I was younger to get my hair done. Now that I'm thinking about it, she was doing damn thing. Because who? All the sisters we had were not, like, all the sisters we had were not there, y'all. Shit, not me. <laughs> but, um, my mom, big... My mom in a way and myself in a way. Because when she was doing it, I was like, okay, maybe I could try that. You know, for fun, how girls be curious about certain things and want to dibble and dabble. And my first time doing it, I felt like I was a dog. You know, I feel like it was good because it was my first time. If I look back at it now, I've really grown. But once I started to do it, I started to like it. And I was like, yeah, this is something I could really, you know, have on the side and do like hair was not my passion at first being a doctor was my full passion and everything but stuff just didn't turn out the way that it was supposed to turn out and hair and y'all i'm not that stylist that you know actually knew how to do this knew that i jumped out the gate with everything that i do like i nobody taught me anything that i know nobody hand fed me told me how to do this i learned how to clean, how to make clean parts myself, how to scalp braid myself, braid myself, anything, quick weaves, all that stuff myself, y'all. Like, hair became a passion for me. Like, you know, but that's what made me start doing it. My mom, basically. My mom and myself. But, um, let me see. What made you start YouTube? This is going to be the last question, guys. What made me start YouTube? Um, what made me start YouTube? Actually, I've been wanting to start YouTube for a long time, but I was very inconsistent, and I was like, "It's not gonna work for me." Who, the, who's gonna sit there and watch somebody that's inconsistent who posting every other week? Like, no, nobody's gonna want to do that. But I always like to record myself. Like, yeah, I record everything I do. Literally, I record, 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 record. I always record. Like, I record my food. I'm going to my friends. I record that. Like, always since I was younger, I always had a camera in my face. Like, I always just love to record myself. And when I got older, I was like, I feel like I can be a content creator. I feel like I can do these things because 
I like being on camera. And I'm like, I have that energy when like, if I don't know you and I'm around you, I'm gonna turn you up. Like, you know, I'm gonna make you have a good time. Like, I don't know, I just feel like I would be a great energy for YouTube. And I love recording things. Like, I love doing stuff and going out. So I feel like it would be very fun for me to do. It's not about the money for me. It's not about none of all that other stuff. I'm in YouTube for fun. I want to make my YouTube channel fun. I want to make my YouTube channel relatable, you know? And that's what made me start YouTube. You know, I just love being behind a camera. Like, who doesn't love being behind a camera? Who does not love being recorded? Because if you say it, don't you lie. <laughs> if you say it, don't you lie. But, guys, that's the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed talking with me. I'm going to make another video probably tomorrow. And I'm going to most definitely have it uploaded. I'm going to get this video together and upload it for you guys so you can see it. I hope y'all come back to my channel. I hope y'all subscribe. I hope y'all like. I hope y'all stay because, baby, we back. And we're better, like, you know? And my channel is going to be somewhere you want to be. And if you're not, then you're just lame. But, no, for real, guys. I hope y'all come back, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Bye!